Hi, I'm Steve Good, and welcome to my scroll saw workshop. Came out in the shop tonight to do a video about lemon oil furniture polish. And uh, I get this email quite often when uh, people watch the tutorials and videos I have on uh, my site. Uh, they always write and ask, what is that liquid you're dipping uh, your projects into and uh, how do you use it? So I just wanted to take a few minutes tonight to do a quick video clip that I can point to when I get this email and uh, show you this product and how I use it. What I have in front of me here is a bottle of uh, lemon oil furniture polish and uh, this happens to be the Wyman's brand uh, but I've also used Formby's and you can even find other generic brands also. I generally find these in grocery stores and you'll either find them in the furniture restoration section or uh, sometimes with the uh, cleaning supplies in your store. Uh, the bottles, uh, a bottle this size usually costs about $3.50, uh, but a little bit goes a long way in scroll saw work. Um, they're, they're all the same product. I haven't seen any different between one brand and another. I've even used orange oil before, which is also a furniture uh, polish that you can use. And uh, the reason I use this is because it's so quick to be able to finish the intricate details of fret work. And uh, with that, I'll show you how I use it. To finish most uh, small scroll saw objects, um, I'll get myself a Tupperware container, uh, something similar to about this size right here. And I usually buy uh, three bottles of the lemon oil at a time. And I just dump the bottles into the container. And that gives me a reservoir that I can put the projects in as I want to finish them. So if you've ever tried to finish uh, scroll saw projects that have a lot of real fine fret work, uh, you'll know that it's not the easiest thing to do with some finishes. So I'll just simply take this container, take my scroll saw project, and dip it into uh, the container until I get the coverage I want, which is usually just dip and pull it out. Okay? And then I'll usually set it on a paper towel and just let it dry for a while. Um, after probably a few seconds of letting it drip, I'll take another paper towel and wipe off the excess. and then let it dry for, oh, I don't know, probably a half an hour. The lemon oil that I'm using to uh, finish my project with really has very little uh, protection value uh, on the piece itself. So what I'll do is after this completely dries, um, usually within about three hours, you know, to give it a, a good enough drying time, I'll go ahead and finish it off with some spray lacquer. Um, in this case, I've got satin, but I'll use gloss depending on the project. Uh, the lacquer dries really quick and once the lacquer dries on top of the oil, uh, it pretty well seals the, uh, the oil in and you won't get any more seepage out of it. Now, for up to about a day after you dip your project in the lemon oil, if you don't finish it with the lacquer, if you set it on a tablecloth or any type of paper surface, you'll still get some seepage out of the wood even though it looks like it's dry. Uh, so you want to be careful with this and you do want to give it some kind of protection like a spray lacquer when you get finished. Okay, again, you can find uh, the lemon oil in uh, several different brands, usually at your local grocery store, but probably even hardware stores are going to carry this stuff. Uh, look in the cleaning supplies or the furniture restoration area, and uh, Formby's makes this uh, a brand of lemon oil. Also, uh, Wyman makes a brand, and again, you'll even sometimes find orange oil, and that works fine also. Okay, just wanted to do this quick video to uh, help answer some of the emails I get. And uh, thanks for stopping by. And uh, remember to stop by my blog at www.scrollsawworkshop.blogspot.com.